welcome everybody to our third episode of Call of Duty Academy Level Intermediate. And in this episode, we're going to talk about how to improve your aim. So obviously, before we can even talk about improving your aim, we should talk about what causes bad aim. So, I listed eight top things that causes bad aim, in my case at least. I'm pretty sure most of you could agree. Now, number one, the enemy is moving too fast. He's outmaneuvering you. You know that's true. Once the enemy is moving way too quick, way too like crazy, you just don't know what to do. No, so I figured two solutions. One for two different circumstances. Here's when it happens in close distance, when he's like right in your face. Back down. Get some distance and pick him off once you're in a good position. That's the best thing you can do. He's double jumping. He's like side shifting you. He's juking you like crazy. Just back out. Get some distance. And once you have a good shot, pick him off. That easy. Now, what if he's in the middle and long range? What you could do is just take cover, wait until he gets closer, or you have a good shot. Most of the time, when you have a good shot, is when he runs out of exo boost, or he's at the peak of his exo jump. Or he's close enough for you to shoot him. Either or, you should always take cover and wait for the right moment to shoot. Now, number two thing that causes bad aim. He just surprised you. He popped out of nowhere. It's like, oh, dude, what the hell are you doing here? Well, there's not much you can do in that moment, in that situation, except try keeping your composure. But there is a way to minimize this. You can learn all the major traffic areas, all the major flank routes, all the choke points, etc., etc. Pe places where people are most often place you can learn these places and once every time you're in these spots you have to just expect it that's all I can say now number three the gun kicks way too much all right so one thing is unobvious foregrip helps minimize it but what if that's not enough what you should do this is like the perfect solution it's a little difficult too, though, I'm sorry, you should learn the recoil of the gun, the recoil pattern, say it mainly kicks up, alright, you notice that, try to aim down every time your gun kicks, just learn the recoil pattern and try to compensate, what if the gun shoots side to side, you go with it, what if the gun kicks side to side and up, now that? It's a little more difficult and you can get the hang of it with practice. Just try to compensate for it if recoil. That's the best I can tell you. Now, number four. Your sensitivity is too high or you're overcompensating your aim. Now, for the sensitivity, lower your sensitivity to where it's comfortable. You know, and how do you know it's comfortable? Well, your sensitivity is good when it's easy for you to track your target and fast enough for you to move, well, comfortably. Fast enough to turn around corners at your own pace. Now, Control Freaks is an actual product that you could buy that further improves that. But if you don't want to waste money, which I know most of you don't, you could also use your left analog stick. If you have to use just a little bit of compensation, you just your aim is just a little off, don't try to aim with your right stick. You're most likely going to pass him and overcompensate. So what you do, just do is strafe to him. Therefore, your, how to say, your body is moving to him, and once he's in your sight, you can pick him off. This is a double positive. You're aiming to him, you're compensating for the aim, and you're becoming a harder target to hit since you're moving. That's a double positive. So you can use that. Now, number five. There are multiple enemies. Two, three, right in your face. There's very little you can do here, but I would just suggest deal with one guy. Don't try to kill all of them. Just, oh, here, 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 here. No, you have to focus on one guy, pick him off, and if possible, pick off the others. There, there's not much you can do. Now, number six, you're moving way too much. You're moving too much for your own good. You don't even know what you're doing. 
You're here, you're there, you're there, you're lost, dude. What you have to do is just calm down, take cover, and get into position. Just, yeah. Back down, take cover, get into position. Once you have a plan ready, go ahead and challenge. Number seven, flinch. All right. Obviously, toughness can help you because you minimize your flinch, you, your kick, flinch. But what you could also try is outmaneuvering him. You know, jump shot, drop shot, straight him, anything possible to a certain degree where it's not too fast for you, where you miss your shot. You want to be fast enough where he can't hit you, but slow enough where you can hit him without a problem. Or you can just juke him out. You know, back down, flank around, and kill him from a different spot. Either or. Just don't. Just outmaneuver him. That's all I can say. Now, the last thing that causes bad aim. People who are hit glitching. I mean, dude, there's their whole body and only their their whole body's behind cover and only their head is popping up. That is gonna be a difficult shot to hit. We, no matter how good of a name you are, that you have, that is still a difficult shot. So, what you could always do is just back down, get into position, shoot him off if you want to, if you really feel ballsy enough. Or I would do the safe thing and flank around or if you have teammates with you, just call them out and let them take care of him. That is the best thing to do. Now, how else can you improve your aim? So what if you don't have any of these problems, which I doubt it, but what if you don't? How can you make my aim even better than it already is? Well, if you didn't know, Call of Duty has aim assist. Basically, it slows down your aiming so you can better hit your targets. If you want to, you can just turn that off and play a couple games. Trust me, it makes a difference. Once you take off aim assist, your aim will be horrible. But once you learn how to compensate for that, once you learn how to deal with it, you can put on the aim assist back and your aim will be godly. You will not miss. It is just a perfect way. That's a perfect way to train. Other than that, just play a lot of Call of Duty. Hey, everything takes practice. The more you practice, the better you get at it. Plain and simple. Alright then. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more tips on how to improve your gameplay. And remember, knowledge is half the battle, and you just won half the battle. See you later.